Hello everybody, and welcome to another unboxing video where the man-child you see before you will face off against another plastic object, or in this case, objects, because we are doing something we've never done, and I don't think has ever been done since, I think, the Lost World toy line back in 97, good god, which I wasn't around then, but, you know, just for anybody who was around for the Jurassic franchise at that time, we're doing something very special. It's not a dinosaur, not even a human. Well, it contains a dinosaur, and I don't think it contains a human, but it's something that a lot of kids have probably wanted with the franchise, because one of the things that is so iconic with the franchise, apart from its dinosaurs and characters, are some of its vehicles, whether it's the Ford Explorer or Jeep Wrangler from Jurassic Park, or the, um, RV center from the Lost World or the High Hide. We've had many amazing vehicles and in those older movies we got toys for them. But nothing really for the Jurassic World franchise except for the gyrosphere in like a remote control. But today in Dominion's line we finally have an answer and that is probably one of many people's favorite new toys is the uh What's it called? Capture and Crush Truck for Jurassic World Dominion, which from the looks of it is supposed to be a biosyn facility, and also I have a human character in case there isn't one, which I don't see any human character, which is a bit of a shame. It should come with them, even if it's a nameless character, but whatever, just you have to get other sets to do that. But this comes with a random Velociraptor, which actually has a great paint job, I must say. Comes with many things, including a crane and what appears to be a rocket launcher, which I gotta say, this reminds me of the old vehicle toys from Jurassic Park and the Lost World, especially because a lot of those toys actually could be done in two ways. One was they would be able to have all these equipment on top of them, like I think the Ford Explorer actually from Jurassic Park came with like this. Um, DNA launcher that would come from the back of it and you'd open it up or you could just but the other way you could have these is simply you just close them take these off and then they're just regular vehicles which I believe is the same for the remote control vehicle which we will be unboxing in some time in the future and then we can compare them of course but this one is the same because apparently you can take off the crane should take off the rocket launcher as you can see with these attachers here you can take them off and if we just look at it, it it just looks awesome again like you know box art of course is good i've been wanting to get this guy out of his box for a while and i say let's just do it i got the scissors this time the man child has improved since the last time <laughs> And there we are, guys. We've got it ready. The vehicle itself, which I gotta say... Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot to take these off. Now it's complete. Let's get rid of those. And first thing, before we look at the main feature, let's look at this Raptor, which I gotta say, the paint job on this is actually really good for what it is. Like, I like the orange and this purple look to him and the pale mouth. And the detail on the mouth is actually really good. There is a weird... Huh. There is a weird thing though, actually. The tongue actually doesn't connect to the um, mouth fully, actually. It's got this weird thing, and I'll probably show it in close-ups. Kind of looks creepy. It looks like his tongue was cut, up, cut off and just, you know, is just plastered onto, you know, the, the bottom part of his mouth, which, ugh, kind of a little gory. But, yeah, a nice posability. Legs can move and stands up, so nice win. And... Only complaint is, of course, that none of the claws are painted. Even his poor fingernails. I know. You're no blue. Well, I don't even think blue has hers painted because, well, yeah, with with the cheaper toys, they always, like, don't actually paint them fully, which, I mean, they don't with um, any of the toys. Like, the like I had to paint the T-Rex's claws, and I still have to do the Therizinosaurus, but, I mean... When it comes to the quality of paint for what you get, it's definitely cheaper on these ones, which is why I'm probably actually going to paint this guy on my own, or maybe I'll paint him into blue instead of having to buy that set, so whatever. But now, let's move on to the vehicle, which is awesome, and like, it's chunky and big, and I just gotta say, it is awesome. And also, 
one thing to mention, I'll d show these in close-ups, but the scan code on here for the Raptor, and also there's the scan code on the back here, which, uh, yep, it's right on the back here, so you'll get those in close-up. Honestly, like, this toy, man, it's just, it's just awesome. Like, it's got some caging pieces to, like, hold the dinosaur, or sort of, and, like, it's rubber, so it's, like, easily flexible, so, like, you can put something bigger in here if you want. Or, if you have any other ideas with it, you could say, um, if we just grab the T-Rex... Oh, God, do not drop Rodrigo. Uh, if you grab the T-Rex, you could, like, take these off and, like, you know... Uh, I... I don't know if you feel like it, you could just wrap it around, like, his muzzle. I mean, you'd need both of them for that. Or you could have him him chained up around the legs like he's been like made unable to move just little things like that you can use it for and of course the main feature about this is its playability with other dinosaurs and not just this raptor because while this crane here which as you can see has a little grippy and also some jurassic world logos is obviously meant to like you know you ram the velociraptor and just when he's screaming no you pick him up and you just, well, normally you'd take off the chains and then put them over. But instead, we're just going to drive away. But wait, a T-Rex comes! Surprise attack! Oh, nope, nope. You're, you're supposed to break. There you go. He presses the button, rips it off, and kills Spider-Man because he's the only human character. And rah, rah, rah. Where's the button? And he kills him, but the Velociraptor escapes, and also, uh, he hits the button and breaks the side. Or, no, uh, where's the button? There it is. Yeah, Velociraptor breaks it while Rexy's eating Spidey-Man in a Lego character, because that's the characters I put in, which, unfortunately, no human character in it, which is a little bit of a letdown, because it would have been nice to have a human character to be able to kill with your Velociraptor or whatever other toys. But, you know, this is actually really playable. And of course you have the launcher, which maybe you can go full Jaws. Smile, you son of a bam. Oh god, I just, that went some, where'd it go? Oh, it's all the way there. Well, just, you grazed the chin, but you didn't blow him up. So, we'll try that again. I just dropped, oh no, blue, I'm sorry. Well, here, you can stay here for now, but you're just a guest. Yeah, Blue the Snap Squad figure. There's Xenosaurus, why not you join? Oh, you grab the chain, you freak. Well, actually, here. Here, can I actually grab you with this? There's Xenosaurus tries to swipe, but the crane grabs his arm. Well, no, no, it's not. Oh, there we go. He's pulling him around. Backs into him. Even though, you know, Spider-Man's kind of missing his um front bumper. But, you know, he's going to go crazy. He's gonna pull him out. And yeah, guys, I have a little Spider-Man figure thing from, um, a movie theater, so, you know, I can use him right here. He's gonna prepare to shoot. Smile, you son of a bam. Ah! No, Sp Spidey. And... Oh, well, there's the end of Spider-Man. We don't need a fourth film, even though I wouldn't say no to that, but we know what just happened to him. The dinosaurs have won, they've taken the vehicle. Also, a little thing for Biosyn, because this is clearly supposed to be the Biosyn facility. Not the facility, good god. Yeah, yeah, this whole thing right here is the entire facility, guys. It's not actually a vehicle. I've discovered the secret. Of course it's a vehicle. Now, what I was trying to say is, can I, can I borrow you? Uh, thank you. And also, let's take that off. Which, yeah, you guys can take these off and, like, you can change position. So, like, if you want to have it, like, say, for some reason you want to have it like this, where he just grabs from the side. So, like, Velociraptor's running away. And instead, you grab him by the butt. Or, you know, because his, he, he'll just slide through. Um, you grab his leg, trip him on the ground, and then just, uh... Lift him up and just dunk him in. Boom! There you go. Successful. We've caught a Velociraptor. Da -da 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 -da. Let's not have that fall off, please. Just a little safety, please. So let's. But 
what I was trying to say before I distract myself like the true man-child I am is if s this is a recommendation to Lewis Dotson to change his vehicle methods, I must say, because say um, you've successfully captured this Velociraptor, which we know as them as the clever girls, and even boys for if there's any for the male ones from the Lost World, say you um, decide to just chain him up this way, and you have him like this, and you're just driving him back to base, don't you think it's a little crazy? He could, he sure, he could sneak out and just like crouch down, jump away and be da 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 da. But no, this cr crafty raptor could be even more dangerous than they thought. Because he could, when they get to base or something, whatever your base wants to be. But the velociraptor, being the clever girl she is, will actually grab hold and start shooting up. And of course, she can't like shoot at the vehicle itself. But just imagine, you could have it like pretend like she just grabs the gun off and just goes BAM and then flips it over and realistically probably kills the Velociraptor itself. Or in this case, you know, just sneaks off, grabs the person in the driver and just takes them away and goes and eats them, which that would just be so hilarious. Also, kick to the claw just for what it did to her. To her. And that is the vehicle, guys, which I gotta say, of the toys that we've unboxed so far, this is definitely one of my favorites for the fact that you don't even have to have, like, these parts. Like, these are just for, like, you know, if you want to pretend, like, they're transporting a dinosaur. But this could be just a regular vehicle, like, maybe a regular Biosyn vehicle that's, like, maybe doing status checks on dinosaurs, but then suddenly the Therizinosaurus could come after, slash it, press the button, press the button, thank you, and just dig his claws in there and kills you. Nom, 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 Well, I don't think he, nope, he cannot reach the Lego character he's fallen under. If we just hang up the Velociraptor who's just like, get me out of here. Also, you could actually, for better shooting for smaller dinosaurs, because I don't think you'd be able to hit this raptor from above. You can also have it like this. So you just go, ooh, ooh. Well, actually, can we shoot the guest appearance? Well, yeah, but he didn't even budge, I think. So, failure. I got it. But you could turn it around after I, nope, other way. Other way, come on, thank you. You go, surprise, surprise, son of a bam, bam. And that is it, guys. If you've enjoyed this video of the tr crushing truck, I keep forgetting its name. The 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 first Biosyn truck of the um, toy line. Leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Free the Raptor. Oh, God.